This is Nate with Ready Tactical LLC. We're gonna talk a little bit about shot placement. Um, James just barely went through some iterations firing into these targets. Um, these are called a Q target. They're from law enforcement targets. They've got a Q right here in the middle that kind of serves as a, a point of aim. Um, as you'll notice though, okay, at no point did James specifically target that Q, right? He's not, he's not pile driving his shots on top of that Q. Um, a lot of your grid style targets or your X-ring targets, a lot of people tend to try to get the smallest group possible, which is fine if you're long distance shooting or competition shooting. However, in a, in a self-defense situation, it's not gonna do you a lot of good to pile all of your shots onto a small area, okay? Because what happens when that bullet enters, it's gonna do damage to the tissue surrounding that, that entrance area, okay? So for you to put another shot right on top of that, that's cool that you can shoot that well, but that tissue's already damaged, the damage is already done. So you wanna spread those rounds out a little bit to cause more trauma to that, to that threat. And that's why, as long as you're in a general area, spreading those shots out a little bit, that's better than having them all pile-driven onto a small area. You're causing more trauma to the target, the threat's gonna be eliminated faster. So, it's another tidbit from Ready Tactical LLC. If this is your first time viewing these videos, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and leave us some comments. We'll see you in the next class.